All right, folks, I got some ideas about this because, you know, these, these people that own these restaurants and these fucking health, health uh, department workers coming in, doing their fee fifo fums trying to shut them down and collect money, you know, punish them and collect some money because, you know, punishment is profit for the government. Um, here's the deal, folks. I can go around to fast food restaurants and record them. Maybe I should do that today is go around to a couple fast food re restaurants um, into town where I live and point out all the fucking nasty shit. And they get to stay open. But, uh, you know, and then I'll just video record all the nasty shit, call it into the health department and see what they do. Which I highly doubt they'll do anything. But, you know, I could sit there in the parking lot and see if the fucking health department comes to shut the f fast food restaurant down. And if they don't, well then, you know, I guess that will be evident, you know, if I recorded such a situation. And then, you know, put it on the YouTube here or whatever. And prove that they could care less about the nasty fast food restaurants out there that's operating, that they will not shut down, that usually are filled with young people operating these restaurants, and, um, well, they're not really restaurants, these fast food joints, and, uh, you know, some of them are good at their little jobs there, but uh, a lot of them are just not. I can go through, I, I know of places right now that are fast food restaurants that should be shut the fuck down, but yet these motherfuckers are never at the fast food restaurants, shutting them down, at least not during 2020, hell no, they're, they're raking in the cash, you can drive by a fast food restaurant, and they're fucking packed in the drive through line, um, so that's one idea, is to go around, and let's just, you know, shut the fast food restaurants down then, and see, see how these motherfuckers go, if they even bother to go up in the fast food restaurants, not them, not necessarily in particular, but, you know, just health, health uh, department workers and the government. I highly doubt they will because, um, yeah, when it comes to the big business, they will not, you know, mess with them. It's just the little businesses. Another thing for the smaller businesses is, is there a way that you can privatize where people have to show their ID or identity before they can... Or, or some way to, you know, maybe make a reservation, private reservations, private restaurant dining to where you lock the door behind every fucking customer that comes in, like, you know, and, the, and then lock these motherfuckers out, put curtains up where they can't see in so people can dine privately, you know, um... So, yeah, you could be doing um, private restaurant service stuff like, you know, private parties, uh, you know, have people do reservations ahead of time, come in, and then they get the whole, you know, get to eat peacefully without these, these type motherfuckers from the health department coming in. Do they look healthy to you? Because I don't think they do. Usually the people with the health department doesn't look healthy, just like the... Um, medical industry, they don't look healthy either, and, you know, I could go to a hospital, and, which I won't do, but, um, I could go there and point out all the nasty shit they do, and they should be shut down by the health department as well, um, I, I can go around and, and, um, uh, go to some grocery, big grocery stores and Walmarts and places too, and, and find all their nastiness, and, put it in a video or, or call the health department, and I bet they don't shut it down. But this country's not free whatsoever, so we need to quit saying this is the land of the free because we have to ask permission to be free on everything to even drive down the fucking road. And this country is far from land of the brave because Americans fear the government.